Municipalities are tasked every day to ensure that wastewater is treated effectively and appropriately using the best available technology. Microbiological inactivation is the final critical step in the treatment process. The use of chlorine gas has been the most common method, but times have changed. Over the past few decades, more and more wastewater treatment plants have converted to and installed UV systems. Rapid microorganism inactivation, including chlorine-resistant cryptosporidium and giardia. A compact footprint. No treatment byproducts. Operator and community reliability. It's benefits like these that continue to convince municipalities to choose UV. Today, UV is relied on by wastewater treatment plants around the world to treat secondary, tertiary, and even primary effluent. In fact, a wastewater treatment plant in Hawaii treats a peak flow of 120 million gallons of primary effluent every day. So, even the most challenging wastewater is no match for UV. The United States installed its very first UV wastewater treatment system back in 1982. Now, roughly 50% of the wastewater in North America is treated with UV. The technology has evolved greatly over the years. Take, for example, the advancements made in UV lamps. In the past, treatment plants had to choose between energy efficiency and lamp count. But those days are over. Today's UV lamps are extremely efficient, more powerful, and enable a much more compact UV system design. Maintaining fewer lamps that last longer and are easier to replace has helped make maintenance a whole lot simpler. And thanks to new cleaning technology, lamp sleeves clean themselves, saving operators even more time. Trojan Technologies is leading the evolution of simple, reliable, and effective UV treatment technology and has been for over 40 years. Today, we have over 11,000 municipal UV installations across 100 countries. To learn more, please visit us at trojantechnologies.com.